the Church of God in the country, have been urged to help rescue the world from stronghold of Satan through prayers. Deputy Governor of Kwara State, Mr. Kayo Dialabi, made the appeal at the second session of the Eighth Synod of Igbomina Anglican Diocese held at St. Peter's Anglican Church, Aradun, in Irekwa, the local government of Kwara State. Represented by Chairman Irekwa, the local government transition implementation committee, Comrade Jide Oyiloi, Mr. Alabi noted that Nigeria required intervention of the church to overcome her social, political, and economic predicaments and challenged the church and genuine children of God to rise up as soldiers enlisted in the army of Christ to rescue the world and Nigeria from stronghold of darkness and agents of the devil. In his church during the synod, Bishop of Ibuminang Anglican Diocese, Right Reverend Emmanuel Adekola advised Christians to ensure persecution and hardship, noting that Christians wrestle against principalities, powers, rulers of the darkness of this world, and spiritual wickedness in high places, while stressing that Christian race is not for fickle minded. Bishop of Ibomin Anglican Diocese charged them not to quit in the eternal race. He noted that the church should not dwell on the predicament of the nation, but should use prayers and their ballots to choose right leaders for the country. Similarly, Canon Paul Falusi, who preached at the opening session of the Synod, stressed that unrighteous worldliness, fornication, adultery and disunity were used by Satan to make the church to fall. Canon Fallacy emphasized that Christians must work as a team and pray fervently to overcome the devil. In their separate remarks, Bishop of Our Anglican Diocese in Ondo State, Dr. Stephen Fakbemi, and Bishop of Omaron, Right Reverend Festus Shobanke, urged the church to march forward through prayers for God to help subdue enemies of the church.